observe in science, you use your five senses to notice what's occurring. You could be watching and listening to a squirrel dig for its cached food, feeling the bottom of a test tube to see if it's warm or cold, or getting a whiff of the embalming fluid before a dissection. But sometimes we think we're making an observation when we're actually making an inference. You have life experiences and background knowledge that helps you to make sense of the world around you. Sometimes you make assumptions or hypothesize, but it's important that you can support your inferences with your observations. Let's look at a scenario where we can make observations and inferences. Look at this picture. There are definitely visual observations that we can make. This looks like a tire and it's flat. There also appears to be rust and sand beneath the tire. Those all fall under the category of observations. Now I'll state some inferences that I've made about this picture. Based on the sand, I think this might be in the desert, which makes me also think that it's very hot there. I think it's part of a very old truck because of the way the wheel well looks. And I'd also infer that the tire is not fixable because of the white threads that I can see on the edge of the tire. Those are all inferences. When you make inferences, be sure that your observations can back up your inferences. If new observations come in that don't fit your previous inference, it's time to revise your ideas. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.